Okay, the easiest way to search for images that you have uh, permission to use without worrying about copyright issues is uh, going to search.creativecommons.org. And here on this dashboard are all the different um, websites that provide Creative Commons content. Okay, uh, something we will want to check whether uh, we want to use it for commercial purposes and if you do have a monetized YouTube account you will need to check this box otherwise uh, you're not doing this for a commercial to, to make money. Uh, modify, adapt, or build upon. Um, if you do change it, change the picture in any way, crop it, add it to a, add it to a video, so to speak. You're actually building upon that image. Uh, you are going to want to check this box. Okay, um, so I just put in balloons, and I'm going to go to. Wikipedia Commons, Wikimedia Commons rather, and here's several balloon images that I would be able to use. But what we need to do is we just need to go into the image and find out who the author is and just double check the license and here we can do anything. Okay? But we do need to um, give attribution to, for this image and we would use the the author's name. Okay, that's Wiki, Wikimedia. And then if we go to Flickr, there's a bunch of balloons in Flickr. If I double click on this and scroll down, it says additional information, some rates reserved. So those are the Creative Commons symbols. And if you just click on this, it'll give you exactly what you need to do. Again, we have to attribute it, it's not commercial. But this license requires that we share it alike. So in other words, when you upload your video to YouTube, you're going to need to select the license of Creative Commons um, Attribution Non-Commercial Share Alike 2.0 Generic. And you're able to do that um, in the settings of YouTube. Okay. And then you can also go to Google Images. It, it's harder to keep track of where your images are from using Google Images, so I would suggest that you go to, and remember, this is Google Images with, with a filter search on it. You're not just typing in Google and putting the image search in. You're, we're going through a filter of open content. Okay, so if I go into, so if I go into Flickr, and I double click on this image, and then I right click on it, it gives me a number, a number of different sizes. Now this might not be big enough. So this original size I think might be, oh, it is good, a thousand. So we do want to have at least a thousand wide uh, so that we can fit it into a, a video and it, it won't pixel, you know, it won't, won't look um, bad. So we're going to download the original size of this and this is Mortimer with a question mark. This is the, the person that created this image. So download the original size. So we're going to download it. Now I'm on a Mac, so it's a little different on a Mac. But what we're going to do is we're just going to save this as. Um, so we're going to export this as. And I'm going to say balloons underscore and more to more question mark. I don't know if it's going to allow that as a file name. Uh, Flickr. And this helps me to keep track of what I'm, where I'm getting these images from. I want to have it as the best quality, and I'm going to save it. Now this went to my desktop, and I'm just going to move this over, and I'm going to show you that I have a folder for Flickr images. It just makes it easy for me to remember where they came from so that at the end of my uh, video I can create a credits page that gives attribution in the appropriate way. And that's all you have to do. And then you go back. But always double check and make sure that you are in Creative Commons search and that's really easy by just seeing the little Creative Commons symbols under additional information.